All right, good afternoon. The uh, court is going to take up the uh, next case on the court's docket. This is C-19-0050 uh, CPS. This is in the interest of the uh, branch children. The case is set for a permanency hearing and pretrial today. The trial is currently set July 30th, 2021 at 10 a.m. Uh, the hearing today has been conducted pursuant to emergency orders of the Texas Supreme Court via Zoom video conference. Participating in the hearing today on behalf of the department in this case with Trey Davis and regional attorney Jason Jett. The uh, mother of the uh, children is Skylar Anderson, who I believe is participating in the hearing today. Uh, her attorney of record is J.W. Johnson, and I believe uh, Mr. Tommy Jackson is on behalf of Mr. Johnson today. The uh, father of the child is Adrian Branch and uh, Mr. Branch is participating in the hearing today. The uh, attorney ad litem um, for the uh, children is uh, Emmett Fleming and Mr. Fleming is participating in the hearing today. The uh, CASA guardian ad litem representative for the uh, children is Cassie Roberts and Ms. Roberts is participating in the hearing today. But, uh, if we are ready to proceed, I'm gonna ask uh, Ms. Roberts, uh, Mr. Davis, Ms. Anderson, and Mr. Branch. If each of you could raise your right hands, please. Each of you solemnly swear affirm me and testimony you give today before the court will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth side to God. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. All right. Um, all right, uh, Mr. Jett, if you're ready to proceed. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, let's come, Mr. Davis. All right, thank you. Go ahead. Please state your name for the record. Trey Davis. And Mr. Davis, uh, how are you employed? I'm a caseworker at conservatorship for the Department of Family and Protective Services. And are you uh, assigned to the branch family? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Are you assigned to the branch family? Yes. Um, what can you tell us about the mother's compliance with her service plan? Um, she's been doing well recently. Um, all her tests since last hearing have been negative. Um, she is uh, currently employed and has been, uh, she's been very helpful with uh, the transition of the girls to their new, uh, to their new placement with Miss Branch. Um, so everything's been going fairly well. That. What uh, what is left for her to do on her service? Um, we were still watching the stability um, and the ma maintenance of uh, of sobriety, also uh, um, the stability of her uh, of her home. Um, those are some things we're still watching. I think we've uh, got the kids in a place that she's she's in agreement with right now, and so I think we've moved forward in this. What are the barriers to reunification that they need this time? Right now, it's just the uh, the amount of time for the stability of sobriety and and the stability of the of the physical home, um, and that that's that's pretty much it right there, right now. All right. Um, what about the father? Um, what about his complaints with the service? Um. Uh, so far, he hasn't hasn't uh, participated in in uh, many of this any of the services up to this point. Um, was able to contact him the other day and, and make contact with him. Um, uh, okay. Somebody asking um, something? No, I, I think there was just some some echo there. Uh, so, um, Mr. Davis, has he been drug? Has the father been drug testing for you? Uh, not recently, no. Um, and do you have you had some difficulty staying in contact with him? Um, staying in contact's been difficult. Yes. So would that be the first thing he would need to do then is to remain in contact with the department. Um, in order to move towards reunification? 
Uh, yes, and, and I, like I said, I did uh, make contact with him recently and uh, got a good uh, um, phone number for him. Uh, mm -hmm. But up to that point, we had not had any contact. Have you been able to evaluate where he's living? Uh, no, I have not yet. And is he visiting with his children? Uh, he did see them at a public function, uh, but at, at this point, uh, I don't believe he's had any visitation with them uh, since their, at least it's, and since their placement, I believe that's going to be set up once he starts working services or participating. Okay, all righty. Where are these children placed? Uh, they're currently placed with the paternal grandmother, Nikki Branch, in San Angelo. Right. And um, how is that placement going? Um, it's going very well. It uh, just started. It's, it's been going uh, a couple of weeks now, um, but it's been very good. The, the girls like it a lot. Been out there twice um, since they've been placed. Um, they're very happy there and they're able to get uh, more assistance from extended family and their parents while they're there. Um, are there medical and dental up to date? Yes. And what is the long-term plan for uh, for these children in this family? Um, right now, the, the permanency goal is going to be changing to uh, relative uh, PMC, uh, conservatorship to relative to Miss Nikki Branch, um, with the uh, concurrent goal of relative adoption at this time. But uh, I believe that the uh, we can get agreement on that. PMC to the grandmother, and they're doing very well there. Um, and so we're not, the main focus here is not for termination of parental rights, um, but managing conservatorship through the family member, correct? Correct. Okay. All right. Um, anything else you'd like to add about these children or about this family? Um, not right now, no. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Your Honor, I'd like to pass the word. Right, thank you. Mr. Jackson, did you have any questions for Mr. Davis? No questions, Josh. Thank you. Mr. Fleming, did you have any questions? Uh, briefly, Judge, thank you. Uh, Mr. Davis, have you had a chance yet to discuss uh, getting licensed with the grandmother? Uh, we did discuss it um, initially during uh, the time that we were setting up placement and things like that. And uh, at that time, she was not interested in in that. Um, she was interested in receiving assistance from the parents, uh, but not not in adoption. But I mean, in the sense of the uh, permanency care and assistance, if she were to take PMC, did you? have an opportunity to, to explain that to her? Um, we talked briefly about it, but that would be the kinship worker who discussed that with her because um, she's the one who's more knowledgeable about her qualifications that, and whether she qualifies. And I don't know if she's you. had that conversation with her yet. But you have, I guess, what you'd say, referred it to kinship? Yes, sir. Kinship's already contacted Miss Branch and I believe has set up a time to come out and visit her. Okay. Um, are there any needs of the children that you know of at this point that are not being provided for? No, they're all they're all being met. Um, right now, we're in the, the process of getting their therapy restarted, um, and that's kind of our focus right now. Um, <clears throat> that, but, but that was going to be everything's going well. Thank. You. That was going to be my next question. Now. Is it true, sir, that Cassie Roberts from CASA has been pretty actively involved in trying to help this process of the move of the kids? Yes, sir. Your Honor, I have no further questions of Mr. Davis. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Jed, did you have any additional questions for Mr. Davis? No, Your Honor, thank you. Did you have any other witness you intended to call? No, Your Honor, thank you. Okay, Mr. Uh, Jackson, do you have any witness you want to call him by? I was just going to call my client, Ms. Anderson. All right, thank you. Go ahead. Um, 
Ms. Anderson, can you introduce yourself for, for the record, please? My name is Skylar Anderson. <clears throat> I am the mother of Ayla and Alyssa Branch in this case. And you've heard everything that's gone on here today, correct? Yes, I have. And do you approve of the, the placement as it is, as it is right now with Miss Nikki Branch? Yes, I, I approve. I completely agree. Okay. Uh, pass the witness, Judge. Thank you. Mr. Day, any questions? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Lundin, any questions? Judge, I think I'd prefer to have Ms. Roberts just speak her mind on the visitation with the dad would be my question, but Ms. Roberts knows more than I do. All right, well, we'll come back to that in just a little bit. I have no further questions and no witnesses, Judge. All right, uh, Mr. Jackson, did you have any other questions or witnesses? Uh, no, Judge, I'm, I'm good. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Branch, uh, did you have any questions for either uh, uh, Mr. Davis or uh, Ms. Anderson or any evidence you wanted to present for today's hearing? I'm just not really getting not caught up to everything right now. So I'm a little overwhelmed with everything that's going on. So I really, I got a lot of questions, but I don't know where to start. So I'm just going to come with agreement with what's going on right now. Uh, what I understand the department is suggesting is for now the uh, children would remain placed uh, with, uh, I guess it's your mother, uh, Mrs. Branch. Um, the, their permanency plan is basically a statement by them of what they will be asking the court at the time of trial, as I understand it would be for the uh, uh, your mother to be appointed as the managing conservator of the child, meaning she would have the right and the responsibility for caring for the child. The children would remain in her care. Um, they didn't get into what they might request as far as any visitation or child support that you might have to pay if that order were granted. Um, that's my understanding is where they're proceeding. They're not at this point, at least uh, seeking a termination of parental rights of either you or the mother. Uh, that's uh, as I understood it. And so that's, that's the outline. We have a trial set right now on July 30th, 2021 at 10 a.m. Um, at that time, the department will have to put on its evidence, as will the other parties, as to what orders the court should enter in the case. As uh, I believe I advise you at the adversary hearing in the case, uh, you have a right to retain counsel if you uh, feel the need for legal advice. Uh, the court had denied your request at that time uh, uh, for a court appointed attorney based on your income. If uh, your circumstances have changed where you think you would qualify for a court appointed lawyer, you can file a request for the court uh, and the court would consider that, but you have to file an affidavit of uh with the Tom Green County District Clerk and the court determine you uh, qualified for a court appointed attorney, I would appoint one for you. I will tell you that because the time frames for the case to come to resolution are uh, limited, that we currently have to resolve this by no later than September 1st, 2021. Um, any attorney retained or um, if you were to obtain a court appointed attorney would have a limited amount of time to prepare uh, for the trial. Uh, I'm not saying whether it can stay set on the 30th or not, but if it does, uh, we would be proceeding forward at that time. So you'll need to prepare yourself uh, for the trial. If you are in agreement with what the parties propose, then that can be one way it gets resolved. Uh, if not, then the court has to hear the evidence and make a decision about what should happen. So if you have questions that aren't resolved with your communication with the department and you feel the need for legal advice, you should consult an attorney, uh, retain one for the case. If you can't afford one, you can make an application to request a court appointment. All right. All right. Thank you. And it'll be important for you to maintain contact with the department. The uh, trial in this case will be by Zoom video conference like this one. So uh, it'll be important for you to maintain contact so they can provide you the link to participate in that trial. Okay. Right. Thank you. 
right. The uh, court will uh, continue the department and its temporary managing conservator and continue the children in the current placement at this time. All other orders remain in place with the trial remaining set July 30th, 2021, 10 a.m. I'm required to notify any parent in this type of case that because of the nature of these proceedings, your parental custodial rights and duties to your uh, child may, or your children may be subject to restriction or even termination and in progress and any court orders or plans of service will be reviewed at future hearings in the case, including at the trial. Uh, let's see, Ms. Roberts, did you have anything you want to address or add at this point? No, the girls are doing really good and we're really happy with their placement. Thank you. 